Welcome to this uh, new uh, review of a series I just watched called, I keep getting confused, Cells at Work. Well, that's kind of appropriate to get confused considering the red blood cell in it. <laughs> uh, you're probably wondering, what the heck is this? This, my dear watchers, whoever does watch this, depending, is a anime cartoon show that is educational about the processes in the human body or cells in your body and you know what a red blood cell does what a white blood cell does the different types of white blood cells and uh, what they deal with and everything of course and you know this kind of form but it's very it's awesome all right um i first discovered this show several years ago because at the time i was thinking you know what i should i was thinking about being an emt so I started, once I got home from my job at night, I would spend an extra hour, hour and a half on the computer uh, watching any type of medical video stuff I can find, but not just medical videos from like a TV, you know, TV show like House or something like that. Because the problem is with House and everything, yeah, maybe they can be medically accurate, but it's more built on the drama than it is, you know, always being medically you know, sound. It's not like it's always the same formula. You ha you get you have a diagnosis in the beginning, then you have all the build up drama and whatever else in the middle, and then at the very end, it's um. Then oh wait, there's the solution right there, and that's with pretty much any you know mystery TV show and everything else. That's just how the formula works, but it's just very. But this, um, I discovered. It, of course, is only still the Japanese version. The version I watched was the English dub, which was, to me, very good. But uh, I watched very diff different things like uh, Rescue 911, which, you know, dealt with uh, some medical emergencies and everything from an actual practical thing because it happened to real-life people who haven't actually go th through those things. There's a lot of clips of Rescue 911 on YouTube. I know a lot of it can be quote-unquote dated in some ways, but that show helped, you know, why we call 911. That show helped, you know putting 911 across America and everything and different avenues and things like that. So it's a very good and important show. And the fact that you see actual medical emergencies happen to real people, and that's how you know you can actually relate to it. That's why I liked it so much. Um, but I saw this thing called Cells at Work, and I was like, okay, it's different. An anime about your cells and the body. Okay. I remember Osmosis Jones... But I never really watched it. I just know it dealt with cells in your body. But I never watched the movie, nor did I watch the series. Even though I know they advertised the heck out of the series on Cartoon Network back in the day. But I never watched it because it was not interesting to me. Uh, but cells at work was different. I was like, okay, this is interesting. Uh, there's something different about it. It was only clips available on YouTube. I didn't get to watch like the full show or anything like that. But I always still remembered it. And now I was able to buy a... a See, seemingly season one of Amazon Prime. And I was like, oh, okay. There's two seasons now? Okay. But I finally got to watch the full uh, 14 episodes of the season one. It's awesome. <laughs> A short view, it, it is awesome. I just, I love how, you know, they do everything and in the show. I love the different kind of characters and everything. Uh, Red Blood Cell 3808, uh, 3803. Your name is, uh, you know, you know, it's so interesting. I'm not the person who thinks in cosplay or anything like that, but I could, if I actually did anything, I would do something as a red blood cell because all you have to do is get a hat and a red vest, and you'd be, uh, you could say, Oh, I'm a red blood cell. You just carry around a box that says O2 on it or carbon dioxide and be like, Hey, I'm delivering this, <laughs> and just give it to random people. Or if people still don't understand what you are, just carry around a Pokeball and you could double as a Pokemon trainer. I mean, seriously, you look at Pokemon trainers and how the cells are dressed, and you're like, it's the same picture. <laughs> uh, but the humor was, you know, very humorous and everything. I like the designs for a lot of the villains. My favorite is this Stachio, Stach, 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 whatever this one is. This is my favorite uh, villain, quote unquote, from the show. That and the Cancer Cell uh, episode, that um, really poignant about the one you don't think you'd be sympathetic towards cancer 
and I'm not for a lot of various reasons. Um, because, you know, friends and family suffering from that and different things. But it's just kind of interesting how they went about it. And I was just like, huh, that's, if you want to be like, you want to know what I'm saying, you got to watch the, you got to watch the show. Um, Killer T cell, you know, overblown. Isn't this, I've read something on the comments on some of these videos, you know, on YouTube, you know, there's still clips you can get that seem, this is maybe the same studio that made Jojo. Bizarre Adventure or something. I never watched that show. I just know I just know anything about that show because of memes. Literally it, because of memes. Because they have one of the killer T-cells. He becomes a, a guy that looks like he's from JoJo. Like, not even kidding. His design looks like the same any time those memes or anything. I'm like, is that a joke? Or is that an in-joke? Or I don't know. But it's it's pretty interesting of uh, how everything's handled. The macrophages are... You know, multiple wearers of hats and everything. I was just like, I, I, I what was it? Episode three. Episode three. I bust out laughing. I, I bust out laughing at different parts of the show. One of them was when you first see the macrophage fight. Uh, she attacks the uh, the flu the flu virus the zombies, quote unquote. She attacks them with basically like one of uh, Klaus Strife's swords from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> she says, "Oh no, my cleaver." I'm like. That's not a cleaver. That's one of those Buster Swords. This crowd uses. <laughs> it's not the his Buster Sword, but you, you, if you think of one of his swords, I don't remember which one it is, but you look at his sword and then you look at that. It's like that's the same thing. <laughs> it, was, it was. I just laugh at that. That and the uh, the thing with the uh, pollen episode. They have this memory cell talking about all of this, all this information of like. What's going to, supposed to happen with everything going on in white blood cells? Like, wow, that's useless. <laughs> like I said, humor is on point. Uh, red blood cell 3808, because there's plenty of red blood cells. And this is the show that actually taught me what senpai means. I was like, okay, senpai actually means teacher or upperclassman. I'm like, oh, okay. I was just like, because I don't know what senpai is. But she, you know, very klutzy you know, get lost in directions all the time, but she, uh, the last two episodes where it's really, uh, serious, quote-unquote, in those episodes, you see her resolve and how much she's matured and her experience to actually go forward and everything, and you're just like, that's respectable, and I have to say, the, the English voice acting for the new red blood cells, having that Louisiana southern accent, I don't know what they were thinking with that, I just like, not sure that really fits them, Honestly, I just have to say. But um, the show, reading-wise, is very popular among the medical community because it's very, well, predominantly accurate, just, you know, personified. But that's just something I enjoyed looking at and watching. And now that I actually have the show, I'm definitely going to be watching season two soon. And there's also the Code Black show, which is a little bit more of a serious turn, dealing with much more uh, serious stuff uh, that goes on. And I know that roles are switched like there's a the white blood cell she's a female and the red blood cell protagonist is a male compared to in this one it's female and uh, male the opposite way but um i just like this series it's it's really cool i'd, I'd probably have to check out the books they're actually based on that'd be an interesting little thing but again the designs for different stuff and just how the show is is just it's awesome there's nothing really much to say without spoiling it all and really getting into all the stuff. Like, the platelets are so cute. The platelets are cute and adorable. But one problem, I guess, you could say in this world, okay, you see the red blood cells growing up and maturing. What the heck are the platelets? <laughs> are they just, uh... Like, you go in the process, of, okay, we get, see all the blood process for red blood cells and white blood cells. What's the process for a macrophage? Do they kind of grow up the same way? Uh, what about... The, uh, you know, why is white blood cells, why is those particular white blood cells completely white? I get, I get, you know, they're supposed to be like the white blood cells, but why are the killer T cells not look that way? And I know, you know, you have to make dramatizations, but what, you see all of them kind of as adults, but why are the platelets always like kids? And that's just, and you're sending kids out to do all that they're doing and everything. It's just kind of like, huh? It's just, you know, the general idea. It's like, why, why? I'm not, 
It's just the only thing. It's like, why are the platelets always small? That's the only thing I have to um, ask. Why are they always kids compared to everything else? But hey, the platelets, I'm not going to argue with them. They're awesome. <laughs> so, but if you really want a show to check out, if you're able to rent it, I had to buy it, which I don't regret at all. So I highly recommend this show. Plus, if you're into medical stuff, I'm, I obviously didn't go into the EMT field. But um, I did try when I was trying to join the military. The I did try to look into the um, like a medical type thing for the military aspect. But that wasn't available when I signed up. So I'm here now and what I am in. So, but nonetheless... Just check it out. It's an awesome thing. Plus, this, the theme song at the beginning is catchy. Oh, yeah, and I got a shout-out and key t- uh, killer cell, too. I mean, um, she only appears twice, technically, but... <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank you for enjoying the show, and we'll... Well, thank you for enjoying the Thank you for watching the review and everything. Please go check out the show. It's awesome. It deserves all the... Support and again, voice acting is great and everything like that. I like the voice acting. I like the villains and all that. I, I can't speak enough good things about the show without spoiling it. And I haven't even seen season two yet, so I got to go, you know, watch that eventually. So um, and Code Black, I'm gonna watch Code Black eventually too, to see what because I know that's more of an adult thing. So I need to check how how it deals with everything like that. Oh, one thing I will say. Uh, different avenues what they could do is obviously the body i guess from what they say in this is male i know code black deals with that but it would be interesting to see the cells that work handle like okay what do the sales do um like in a female body versus a male body like maybe the, you know because of blood transfusion and everything maybe one cell will be like from a male body and a female body now and he's trying to learn all the new different things because in a female body and a male body are two different uh, anatomies with uh, how some things work because male and female are different uh, because of, you know, reproduction and all that. I know Code Black gets into that a little bit, and I think uh, there's different mangas that get into that as well. But from a series perspective, it'd be interesting to see, you know, those different things of what all the what the world and the shows at work worlds would look like dealing with those different aspects. I guess I have to handle uh, Code Black for that, but... Ah, just something to see in the future. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.